Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, man. Thank you guys for tuning in, man. Hey, I got special, special guests here today. Sean Jock Taylor, you, you done showed up. I'm happy to have you on Boss Talk 101. You family, so you you have to come when I call you. I did, and I am. <laughs> <laughs> and we got a special guest in there, man. Todd Washington, man. What's yes, going man. on, man? Man. Bless. USC, man? Yes, sir. Fight on. They <laughs> say like fight on. Man, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you. When I, I first uh, uh, really uh, got to... Watching what you were doing is causing my son, you know, he played ball in Marshall. Yes, he told me, and I got to say this, while the sh let's, he's yeah. here today, he got to hear this. I had a store down there. I yeah. got to say this. He know it. He know what I'm about to say. I had a store in Marshall, Texas. I had spent money on probably $30,000, $40,000. Yeah. Right. I had it, and, and he, I called him. I said, hey, Trey. I know you graduating, you getting out of school, man. What you gonna do, man? I said, cause that's your store, you know. I had like five at the time. Yeah. What if I tell you he told me, oh no, nah, I ain't gonna do that, man. I'm going to the NFL. I said, what? I thought you would start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what? Yeah. And I just left it alone. You know, my father had passed. I said, you know what I'm gonna, and I seen him a few years later. We did it again. So I must really love this dude if I keep on just having crashed out events for him. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But anyway, man, enough about him, man. So, so when did you know, man, that you was going, you know, pursue football? Um, I would say early on, it's like probably like five, six. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just love football, like growing up, like, Playing in the yard, I just love being competitive. Um, I always was smaller, but I just was rough, and it was just a, a, a easy way to be rough. You know what I'm saying? And 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 not get in trouble for sure. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna say this, and I'm I'm, I'm gonna get Mr. Taylor to help me a little bit with this. You know, I don't speak on y'all no more. You know, I put you on the phone with Taylor earlier because Taylor came from his picture up there on the wall with me. And I'm gonna tell you something. I didn't Taylor who Taylor Gabriel. Okay. I did not think he was gonna be in no NFL. I had XT him out the game right here in this store where we at today. Right. Because of his size yeah. and his height. He said he liked to play football. I said, good for you, but that ain't okay. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it blew up in my face. That's probably why he don't come over that much. I didn't really <laughs> I didn't really do what I'm supposed to. Now, he came to the interview. Yeah. If I call him, he come. I can get him, but... I probably could have gotten him a lot better if I just went to some college games, you know, or something. Um, I didn't believe the process, bro. So at that point, at this point, I just don't know what's going to happen, okay? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Mr. Yeah. Taylor, I asked, I called you in on this one because, Jock, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, I, be honest. Don't lie. I didn't know, you know, I, I, I do football, but not like, like, I don't, you research stuff. Your strategies is a lot more in depth than mine. You know what I'm saying? All right, all right. So I knew if I called you, I could I could figure this guy out. Well, so, you know, <laughs> we can start with Taj by asking him, when did the NFL become like a reality? Because everybody dreams yeah. about it when they show up at the D1 school. But at some point, it's like, it starts being a dream and starts becoming something that can really, really happen. Um, I say for me, just shoot, like when it came down to playing in a bowl game this past season, like um, people asking, you know, you gonna play or not play, like you know, when you come down to them type of questions, you know, like oh, right, that mean you know that I have a chance to play at the next level, you know what I'm saying? Or people, you know, have good word, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I just take it a day at a time. I love college football, you know. I, Play five years of it, you know what I'm saying? But I just, you know, I always love football. And um, when I found out, you know, I had the opportunity to really, really make it happen, like, um, you know, I was excited for sure. Wow. What are your expectations for the draft? Um, I just go to a team, you know what I'm saying, that just needs me. Um, I can play. I can be of value. Um, I can help make the people around me better, to be honest. In what way? Um. Great teammate. You can ask either of my teammates, man. I just, um, I'm a great person to be around. I feel like I bring good, positive energy, you know, as well as make plays when, when the lights on. Wow. I think that's hard. You sound you sound good. Well, the question, <laughs> I mean, the question about Taj is always, just like you said about Taylor, it's going to be size. Um, what do you say to people who say, 
Well, you are five nine. You ran four or five. How do you fit into the league? Watch the tape. I mean, shoot. Tell me I'm small. You you ain't all small till you see me. You know what I'm saying? I play big. I play physical. Um, I play fast. So um, that's an interesting. When you say big, what do you mean? Give me um, an example. I'll say just run blocking, impact blocks. Like you can go look at the tape, see how many blocks I made that you know sprung touchdowns or made big plays. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, you know, I enjoy it, you know, being, I've been, you know, <coughs> underestimated all, all my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody expected this or that, you know, except a couple of people that that just truly know me and know, you know, the heart I got, you know what I'm saying? So, it's just been fun, wow. you know, just show well, up. Well, let's rewind. Uh-oh. Yes, sir. Why'd you pick <laughs> Memphis? Um, I picked Memphis because uh, just going to high school, like, I was senior, you know, Texas football, like, it's the biggest, biggest thing moving, you know yes, what I'm sir. saying? Yes, sir. Uh, so I'll just have my mind set on winning a state championship. Like, um, that's just like the, the biggest thing that I seen. It hey, was Matt, I'm interrupting you now because we flew yeah. for Was Mathis your coach? Yes, sir. It just dawned on me. Yes, really? sir. Because yeah. Mathis coached my son at DeSoto. Yeah. Really? See, we connected just like yeah. that. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. We connected. You know what they say? We, we, that's we, hard. We I three, like it. We three people away from knowing everybody See? in the world. Nah, it's just, I forgot <laughs> that Mathis was at Marshall for a minute. Yeah. Wow. Then that's, I started thinking. I was like, yeah. That's about the right time frame. My junior wow. senior. Wow. Yeah. So just being focused on that, um, you know, we came up short, lost in the semifinal. Um, and then I've just, you know, started reaching back out to coaches that had reached out previous to the season. Um, Memphis was the first ones to respond. You know, Coach Novell, he was there at the time. He like, I'll be down there tomorrow. And he came to Marshall like the next day. Like, wow. that spoke volumes. You know what I'm saying? Um, we set up a visit. Uh, went there, committed on the spot. Which Norvell? Uh, Mike Norvell. Okay. He's at Florida State right now. Oh, all right. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I, yeah. Hey, I'm just all listening. Good, all good. <laughs> all good. I respect it. I respect it. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, you know, when I look at, like, like I said, that's a life-changing situation. If everything works in your favor and you are able to go to the league, you know, uh, do you, the agent, all the stuff. Give me the process. I'm. I don't know nothing. Yeah. What happens when you get to your senior year, and and you about to go and you know make these challenging changes? Okay, I love you. You skipped one point in the process. Go ahead. That's a great question, but we gotta go one place first. Let's go. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. You gotta ask the man. Okay, why you bounce from Memphis to go to SC? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. Yeah. Cause I, then I skipped all that. The other, then yeah. we yeah. will get yeah. to that. Then we get to okay. that. Okay, he's other. right. He's yeah, right. Let's do that. Because uh, I thought they just bounced around for money and all kind of stuff. Nah. Now maybe they did. Now, maybe I'm did just that. telling you what I'm in my mind <laughs> thinking. <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> let's find out. Let's find go, man. So yeah, I love Memphis. Coach Nervell ended up leaving. Um, after my freshman season there, we had a great team. You know, we uh, ended up winning the conference championship. Get to go to the Cotton Bowl, play Penn State. If he was there, we was probably probably would have beat him. Uh, but he ended up leaving. I was kind of on the fence about staying or going. You know, I had ended up playing four games and decided to redshirt. Um, so the next year comes up. You know, I'm like on the fence about staying or leaving. I ended up deciding to stay. You know, my receiver coach was still there. Um, we had built a great relationship. Um, so I had a lot of trust in him. Ended up staying, was a fresh mile American that next year. Um, my coach ended up not getting, you know, signed back on. So um it's kinda tough. I'm like, dang, like I don't really know anybody. You know, guys a lot of guys transferred out, a lot of upperclassmen that, you know, helped me make the transition to uh getting there and, you know, helped in the recruiting process too were gone. So it was like, you know, it was it was tough. Um I ended up trying to stay, um, kinda made it through spring. Um, and just, you know, I felt out of place. So, wow. um, end up in the portal. It was like the first year of the portal. It's before all the NIL stuff, so you can, you can dead that. Uh, <laughs> no money. No money. No, I got, <laughs> all times got was a fat burger. <laughs> hey. That's what he got. He got a fat burger and some fries. Hey, that's it. For real. <clears throat> For real, but. Um, Why SC? Yeah, so, reach, you know, from going from, you know, Marshall, coming out of high school, like, I didn't get recruited as much as I, I did coming out of Memphis. So, it was different. Um, everybody in the country hitting you up, you know, phone blowing up. Um, so I'm like, man, I gotta make a decision quick and get get this over with. Um, SC, just a pedig pedigree of you know athletes that they put out every year. Um, just the history there, the education there, the city of Los Angeles. Like, it's just so many factors um, to why not 
you know, opportunity, you know, to go somewhere different. Never been to California in my life wow. before, you know. So I um, just saw his opportunity to grow as a person, as a player, and uh, and reaching my goal eventually. Did you like them? You like the mountains and the the view and the oh yeah for yeah. sure that was that was big for man because when I first went on the west coast I was like what the heck did I just see didn't even know that <laughs> I did not know I'm coming from Lodi <laughs> <This> man <laughs> 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 this can't be life you know what I'm saying we've been missing out <laughs> for real yeah that's cold though I think that's that that's that's big you know to even do that you know I know a lot of people that. You know, a lot of people that want to act, all kind of stuff, they go to, you know, California and stuff. So, I mean, it's a different life, but it do rain up there. Oh, I was yeah. just up there. It was raining <laughs> when I was there. <laughs> Let's go with it. Tony, Tony, Tony said it don't rain. He lied. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the past couple of years, it's been raining. Uh, <laughs> how do you avoid the distractions when you grow up in a place like Marshall and you end up playing college ball in a place like L.A.? Um, oh. You kind of you kind of said it. You know, I'm from Marshall, so... Um, you know, it's, it's real slow, you know what I'm saying? And it's fast there, so um, you know how to operate, you know, just, just operating how you operate. Like, I'll, I'll take everything, you know, serious, you know, meticulous, like, you know, going to school, going to class, trying to be on routine as possible. And um, when you when you live like that, you know, the distractions kind of limit themselves um, and kind of put the right people around you at the same time. Wow. Yeah, I, like I said, man, uh, you, you, you sound like you're ready. Uh, now I can ask you the question that I was going to ask, right? Yeah, um, yeah, it's time. You know what I'm saying? How do you prepare yourself after going through the process of being in school like that? And everybody's dream is to yeah. go to the next level, For right? Sure. So how do you find the agent? Well, how, I'm just trying to figure this out because I would not know. Right. So how did you, uh, do they reach out to you or did you reach out to somebody? Um. So, you know, after the last game, I ended up playing in the ball game that, People say I should have sat out. You know what I'm saying? End up playing the bowl game. Had a great game. Um, and just from there, you know, after that, your eligibility is up. So um, agents can reach out, um, you know, building relationships with certain ones. And then um, found my agent through, you know, relationships. I'm big on relationships. And uh, the people I have relationships with, I got a lot of respect for them. So, you know, when they make important decisions, like, I respect <coughs> them. And, uh, I want to meet. Yeah. Wow. Like, let me meet that agent. So. Uh, combine and just the four five and I, yeah. I you know I just had yeah. Taylor on the phone and yeah. I just talked to this cat right yeah. here so Jock what is the what what is the deal with the time and 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 was that the best time you could have run oh for sure not um but you know it's a good time for me at the time um I didn't run at the combine I just ran routes okay um, just jump stuff like that you know I was coming off the flu like real bad you know what I'm saying uh, it just hit at the wrong time and um. I'm just a firm believer everything happened for a reason. Um, ran the 4-5, you know, it is what it is. You know, that tape speak for itself. I mean, but um, just blessed for the opportunity to do everything, you know, go out, go throughout this process. Like, it's been fun, to be honest. Yeah. What's been the best part about it? Um, the best part was, like, going to the combine, meeting everybody, like, meeting the players. Like, um, like I said, I'm big on relationships. You know, you see guys – that, you know, you see on TV on Saturday nights, you know, ball out. Um, and they see you ball out, you know. Just have questions for each other, you know, just bonding that way. Like, how was that? And, you know, like, how was that game? You know what right. I'm saying? Just, mm -hmm. like, that was, that was like, the best part to me. What's the uh, – I always like to ask cats this. Yeah. Um, what's the best game you played at SC? <sighs> or what's your favorite moment at SC? My favorite moment? On the field. On the field. Man, it's hard to choose. That's why I asked. It's hard to choose. Um, I would say uh, Notre Dame game of 22. Um, that was a fun game. Um, it was kind of Caleb's Heisman moment or whatever. But, <laughs> right, right. But we, uh, you know, beat, beat Notre Dame. That was huge. You know, that's a big rivalry. Um, a lot of history behind that. And uh, just seeing, like, the older cats that came through SC before, like, seeing, you know, how, how proud they were and, uh, you know, just getting that victory, you know, making plays in that game. Like, you know, this that's one of the ones to make plays in. What's the play that you made in that game that stands out the most? Um, I would say uh, I had a jerk route uh, on the third and third and four or something. We was in the, in the plus, like, 18 or 20, somewhere around there. Um Ran a jerk route, kind of play, kind of broke down. Uh, 
Linebacker came on to me. He still threw it, jumped over him, caught it on, on top of his head. That was like just hearing that the crowd, it was electric in there for, for real, for real. Like I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> juiced up. Juiced up. No, that was a Wow, man. Up. That that this is something else, man. I hear how your energy is, man. You 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 think you think you're gonna be able to play with them boys? You you make it in the NFL, <laughs> man. There's some big dudes they oh, running yeah. thirty miles per hour. Man. I Taking mean, your head off your body. Man. Hey. We're gonna see. <laughs> No, I, and the reason I ask you that is because it, it is a it, it's a thing like uh, you, people like oh, are you gonna go when when are you gonna go do you think yeah. about that when am I gonna go if if you if you go at all I mean I have no control over it you know at the end of the day um, I'm a firm believer you know it's you know I got I'm a man of faith so that's you know, real. I pray a lot like that's where my my faith and my worries go you know what I'm saying so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play ball and take it day by day. Yeah. How important has your faith been in your journey? Man, unbelievable. Like, um, like you said, I've been undersized, under, underridden, you know, ridden off my whole life. So, like, you know, from other people. But if you know me, you know um, where my strength come from. So, it's it's just been a journey. It's been a a blessing to go on it. You know, um, just taking the the tougher route. You know. You know, walking with faith, you got to take the tougher route. Like, um, and it's it's giving me uh, a lot of strength through a lot of situations. You know what I'm saying? So, um, just blessed for real. I say that because it's all over your Twitter account. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You know, because some cats are public about it, some cats are private about right. it. Why did you choose to be public about it? Um, because you know, my life ain't my own. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? We just we just here to walk it. You know what I'm saying? It's already written. So I'm just I'm gonna walk in and be proud about it. Wow, I got a question for you. Yeah. I'm coming back to you. Come on. Foo, for you. <laughs> uh this is Taj's moment, man. I hear you, but I got to ask you this question. What's man. that? Reggie Bush, this Heisman they gave back after all these years. Ask the man from ask the man from that <laughs> Reggie Bush I mean, I would, either one of y'all can tell uh, me yeah. how does this thing fall apart and come uh, back together? What is this all about? You I know I you had, no, I haven't really paid that much attention yeah, to and, you. Other than you know, he got a, he lost his husband because he took some illegal benefits that are now legal. Yeah, and so I think they just was like he he was suing them, they were suing him. They was like feel like a good PR move to do it now, and so they did it. Wow, well that's you, my opinion. Though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what did you think about it? Um, I'm just glad he got it back. To be honest, like he deserved it. I mean, he played for it. Like that's all that should matter anyway. Like he played. I mean. Why punish him? Why not punish the school? Don't you? It mentally affected him. You know that. Oh, for sure. For that sure. that uh, that I, I think that had a whole bunch to do with his career. What Just I, me, you know what I mean? Thinking that. In what respect? Meaning, I wouldn't. Go, it, it'll mess with you. If somebody takes something from from you, you know that you worked for, and and, and you you feel like you know you wasn't done right about it when well, you play. Time he cheated. So, I, I, mean, don't, I don't want to well, say he cheated. He did cheat. Yeah, I get it. Well, get in. Well, they switched it. They, they changed the the they, they changed the, the move the starting line. They moved the finish line. This, this is this is nah, wow. At the time, he cheated. That's why he lost it. That's why the title got vacated. <laughs> now they came back and they changed the rules. So they said, okay, you can have it back. Don't mean he didn't cheat at the time. Right. Yeah, I guess, man. But yeah, he did cheat. Ain't what no did they guess. give him? Ain't no, I guess he. What cheated. did they give him? I don't know. What that was way they, before my time. What did he get? <laughs> what you mean? What did he get? Did they give him money? And did they, you yeah, know? they bought his parents a house. That ain't nothing compared to what they hey, should have no. done for them kids. Yeah. That ain't the question. <laughs> Quit taking up for him. Man, cheated, he cheated. He got it back, he got it back. I'm glad he got it back, and he deserved it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't mad at him, but, I mean, you know. You strictly by the book, see? Ain't no cut, that, ain't no cut, no I mean, corners with you. But in, you know this, in this case, it ain't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's like I used to say, man. Yeah. Well, no, I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know, I think, man, that when you when you think about the NFL, there's a lot of temptation to come with it. If, if you walk through those doors, man, and and and. You, I've heard stories about how they how they treat it in there. Matter of fact, shout out to Pac Man Jones. Pac Man Jones is. supposed to be on here in a few. Uh, oh, yeah. a, a, you call a me, month. When, call me. You gonna Pac come through? through? All right, because he's show coming. It's already yeah. been said. I went, man, I got a great Pac Man story. Oh yeah, 
great. Because I went to, when the Cowboys signed him, I went to Atlanta, spent three days, and he didn't know I was coming. And he wasn't happy when he found out I was there. Oh, man, I'm going to bring you up here when he comes. He's coming. Oh, no. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I, I'm getting into sports now, so I'm gonna need you. You know what I'm mean? saying? Uh, I forgot I said we're gonna work this out. <laughs> so I think, you know, my, my biggest thing is to see you succeed being from a small country town like myself. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I, I really wanna see, I wanna see you do good in life. If, if that, if, do you have a fallback plan? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I gotta go backwards. No, we get it. We go into the fallback plan now. No, I was about to say okay, what. We, we feel, I mean, you that, got this on paper? That, that's too broad a question. Okay, give it to me how you would, how would you say it? <laughs> give it to me, because I know you know how, put it to where you can't get out of it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, it's not even about that. It's about, well, you got these, um, how do I wanna say this? Uh, <laughs> you appear to have aspirations to be a chef. Yes, sir. Oh, 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 I know nothing about that. <laughs> hey, man. Did my look, students look, 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 did my students do the research? It's on the picture. Yeah, but that, my wife did that. Yeah, Come man. On, you man. know what I'm saying? Tell us about your you aspirations. Yeah. He all about the Cajun yeah. lifestyle, yeah. man. So when you when did, when did this passion for cooking begin? Where? Um, Marshall, Texas. <laughs> At the house, just. Then we're going to um, ask your girl if you can cook. You can ask anybody. <laughs> Anybody, anybody. If you know me, you know anybody. Um, but you know, my passion for cooking started like just growing up. You know, big family, my grandmother in the house. You know, you helping her for sure. You know, Sunday dinner, um, holidays, everybody over the house. So um, I always just just love like you know putting that work in in the kitchen, and then that night everybody eating and just the memories. Like you know, what I'm saying I heard a person say, you know, they might not remember what they ate, but they remember how they felt. And uh, right, right. I just always want to carry that with me. Okay. What to, uh, in a perfect world, how would you see it playing out? Um, shoot, my own restaurant chain, whatever style of cuisine I end up, you know, going with, but I just like cooking new things for the most part, to right. be honest. Wow, well, you what's, your, what's your specialty these days? Everybody say my Alfredo, man. It's it's a couple videos out there on YouTube. Okay, okay now you know, the question yeah. is, what makes your Alfredo special? It's different. And Why I, is it different? It's, I mean, I'm I ain't asking for Marshall, the secret. Texas. I ain't asking Making for the Alfredo. secret recipe. But you know, it's a hundred it's a hundred Alfredos yeah, out there. Yeah. Why is Taj's special? I mean, maybe you stick your toe in it. I mean, nah, I just you got that yeah seasoning. You know, special blend that I put together. Okay, um, now we're getting to you got a special blend of seasoning. You, you got a special to. blend of seasoning. Um, just the process of how I do it. Um. You know what I'm saying? I sear that chicken or whatever. If it's sausage you want in there, I sear that sausage. You know, if you like seafood, throw that shrimp in there. Um, I always make the sauce homemade, heavy whipping cream, um, cheese. You know, right. oh, he, you know. He, now, he now, now we finding out why it's dabbling special. a little bit. You know what bit. I'm saying? Uh, whatever noodle you like, you know, some people like fettuccine, linguine, farafelli. That's me. You know? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bow tie guy. Okay. Exactly. See? Both wow, them. that's hard, man. Y'all say they're really talking food. Huh? That's because I cook. <laughs> you eat cooking like yeah. you? No, what he you cook? I mean, I, I Taz cook for somebody yeah. who got hamster metabolism. <laughs> <laughs> I cook for somebody who got fat boy metabolism. <laughs> so I use the air fryer. <laughs> oh, okay. And uh, I got a, you know, I got a busy life, so I, I cook a lot of things, but, you know, it's yeah. got to be 15 minutes or less. Taz sound like he in the kitchen, you know, creating gourmet style. That, is, <laughs> that ain't your boy. <laughs> You gonna make it to where it's southern? Yeah. Is that what it is? No, no. I'm not cooking fat boy stuff, man. He is. Yes, I cook good and good for you. What do you? Why? Why, why do you just pick good. just good? You don't care about our health, man. Flavor. <laughs> <laughs> flavor. You can't beat it. No, you can't beat it. But I cook healthy too. I do healthy alternatives. Um, that's what I like about cooking. Like, it's always you know, cooking for other people. It's always something different that somebody else like. Um, healthy lifestyle Like I cook for people That's pescatarian I cook for People that's vegan What's pescatarian um, dog? Um, I really don't know Vegan I can tell you But yeah. pescatarian Go ahead and break that down Because Man, I don't That's for fish only people Fish only people Really? Don't eat meat you know? Hey I want you I don't want you to be afraid To ask people when you No know. I really don't I really just listen To what y'all saying Because yeah. somebody gonna know yeah. Fish <laughs> nah. I ate fish today And yeah. I ain't talking nah, about being no. And it was fried So that wasn't <laughs> <pescatarian>. <laughs> I mean it's 
it's still, you know, it's still, you it's can still, eat fried catfish yeah. every day, be a pescatarian. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's just. Well, I might eating. need to be one of them. I might need. <laughs> I might need to be a pescatarian, yeah. not a but that's a, a hospital. Pescal. You know what I'm <laughs> No, but I definitely, I definitely eat a lot of fish. I, yeah. know, I've been thinking about it, like, like I want to be like I, I let everything yeah. else go. I didn't, I didn't dabble in different, you know, ways of eating for sure. Do you think that you think that vegan thing is it's real popular right now? It's legit. I ate at a vegan restaurant in Chicago. It was horrible. You know, Shout out you to Larry mean? Hoover Jr. I didn't like it. Where you at? <laughs> you see, I don't even know. My wife had to take because I was mad for but being there. Look, I was like, this look. is fake. They so, got fake uh, names on here. Okay. Saying that it's this and it's not that. Hey, you to make you feel like it's going to be that well, and you well, taste it and it's not that. And, and they defense, check this. If you go to a soul food restaurant, it ain't good. And somebody say, I don't like soul food because they went to that one spot. And that, oh, he got you know you what right I'm saying? Man, like I just, right, vegan man, might you gonna be have good. to bring me some some meat around here. Okay, have to so the problem is you just don't want to eat. No, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah. Yeah, you right? You making me? I'm gonna go to one more. That's all I'm giving them. Okay, now ask that man the real question. What's the real question? The real question. Give it to me. Texas barbecue or Memphis barbecue? Oh, you Texas bet not. Barbecue. There you go. You <laughs> bet not. <laughs> Boy, I better put him out of here. You bet not. You come on now. I've been all down the Bill Street come and all that now. stuff, man. Don't you come in here like that. Come on. Yeah. Man. I just had to ask, man. Well, you know, I get it. You know, man, been away from home for a minute. You got oh, to run that test. They break. even brought, brought, I th Come on now. I cut on the pit every time I come home. <laughs> they even <laughs> brought me something from St. Louis, some guests that came here yeah. like it was going to just kill the game. And I was like, this ain't this ain't what we doing. Y'all uh, too deep in the sauce, not the meat. But, mm. So you think you, you? No, that's what I'm saying. Mm. That's what's up with them. Oh, you talking about St. Louis? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They right. You right. Everybody got something that they do and they proud of it. Yeah. When you go to these different cities. Yeah. Yeah. What What do you? You know, I went to uh, D.C. Yeah. They got mumbo sauce. Yeah, I heard of that. You heard of it? Yeah. They throw some sauce on the meat and it, it's good now. I, I don't want the meat. Unless, I don't want to eat the meat unless you can eat it with no sauce. Nah, they gonna throw it. Well, they'll let you get it that way, but their main thing is putting the that sauce. sauce on there. Yeah. Then the meat ain't that good. Shout out Chico Bean. I supposed to have more here tomorrow. Saying. I'm gonna check him about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah mumbo sauce. Mumbo sauce. <laughs> I ain't tried it yet, but I didn't. I didn't heard about yeah, it. Yeah, I tried it. It wasn't. Uh, it, I'm like, what is they trying know. to say? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So when, when people say it, I think about like, uh, what's that? Good Burger. The yeah. And kid, when people say it. So did you like the fat burger? Like he, he just brought that up earlier. It when you went out there, I'm not a burger guy, to be honest. I don't like ground meat like that, um, unless you know. I ain't gonna say I'm making it or you know just something healthier. I'm not a big ground meat guy. Now you like cooking for yourself, or you like cooking for other people? Other people. Oh, for sure. So when you cook for yourself, what you cook? You stay basic. I, I rarely cook for myself. See, that's why I asked that because you sounded like you really enjoy. Cooking for I other people for myself. Like I only cook for myself. If I'm cooking for somebody else. Yeah. Sometimes people don't like their own cooking. I like my own cooking now. I don't know. He left. I eat last. He's not gonna like his own cooking. <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I like. My I'd rather own have cooking. somebody else cooking for me. It tastes yeah. better. Like yeah. Like I don't want it. Everybody will say it's good. I love when you cook. Mm. I'm just telling you. I, no, I see. I see both ends. Yeah. Like, I see. Like you know, you might have had an off day in there. No, no, I ain't had no off day. You know, you might have no damn off day. You know, you had off day. Don't try to tell me about I had no off day. Off day, you know they. He just, you know, internally you had off day. Everybody else might have, you know, liked it, enjoyed it, you know, but you know. Well, you know, whatever, you like, man. I, I hear you. Yeah, that's you. I, I'm not with that. Come on. Let me ask you about. Uh, you play with Jerry Rice, son? Yes, sir. That, how was that? I mean, did Jerry Rice used to come up there? Uh, he came to uh, games here and there, and then spring games. You know, I always seen him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, was that, is that any kind of pressure? No. Nah. I'm just asking because nah. he can't play for him, right? Huh? No. Nah. <laughs> Jerry, I mean, it's, it's always, Jerry was a killer, a king yeah, sure. of his time, his era. You knew about it. You Man. seen it come through mm -hmm. Dallas a lot of times, and that he was. was do they play similar? I ain't even. Um, I was. You know, it's different. You know, Jerry Rice played in the time. You know, he was ahead of his time. You know, what yeah, I'm he was for sure. Um, you know, that's some big shoes to feel. That's the you know, greatest shoe of all time, man. Man, that's crazy. For sure. That's how it would be a lot of pressure on him. I need to oh, interview yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> I bet just imagine what him and his man. dad had talked about. Man. <laughs> so, hey, man, listen, man. I wish you the best of uh, – hey, 
I, do you have any more questions? First off, I should ask the man about playing with the Heisman draft choice and the Heisman trophy. Let's go! One, Come on, you slow one, running. And bring bring number one pick in the draft. Question. Yeah, bring the damn question. Let's go! You got all this information over there. I ain't no all the information. I ask questions. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your um, favorite uh, Caleb memory um, from playing with him? I say this year, um, first game playing San Jose State. <clears throat> it's like. Early in the game, like first quarter, it's zero zero. You know, right? People expecting us to be up twenty one. You know, with fifteen seconds into the game, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so we go down. We we kind of backed up a little bit. He ended up having a fumble snap. I'm on the route. I got a you know deep post corner, and I'm just running this route hard. But what I don't see, the snap fumble, is rolling on the ground like. 10 yards in the backfield. I just see, when I turn around, I just catch the ball, take it 75. But what happened, he picked it up off the ground, off his back foot, threw it by 50 yards. <laughs> wow. Wee. That's heavy, man. Yeah. First it's, touchdown of the season. That's that, hey, listen, that's <laughs> hard, man. I, I'm, I'm seriously saying, man, so was that the, was that the longest – of the season? I think that's the longest in his career, I think. Wow. Uh, now, how is he off the field? Painting fingernails and all. Whoa. I mean, you know. Well, that's, that's <laughs> a lot of cats do that these days. It's I not, didn't know uh, about the paint. You, say, you said it. <laughs> I'm old school. When you say something like that, that's a red flag for me. Oh, man. You know, you know what, man? Yeah. I'm old, man. Yeah. Let, yeah. let Taj yeah. answer, yeah. then I'm going to hit you check to Check me. Game. Check well, me. Just, check me out. Let me know what's going on with the paint. Um. <laughs> just off the field, you know, he he a you know, regular guy, like cool guy, you know, to show your teammate, your brother. Um, you know what I'm saying? It just you know, he's in the spotlight. So, you know, anything he do, anything he say, you know, can and will be used against him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but so familiar. It's just it's just, you know, part of the part of the, part of the game, part of the game we play. Um, but he he, he carry it well. Like he like it. He like that pressure, he like being in the moment. He like uh -huh. being that guy in that situation, and um, he's just competitive at everything. Like, give me an example. Know, like we walking into a room. Like he 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 want, you know it's <laughs> you know it's a race. Like <laughs> he want to be know first. What he want to be first. Um, just shooting the ball. We had like a little goal in in the weight room. Just shooting. Like we playing horse. Like he trying to win. Like he not playing. Like he trying to win. Um, and that that just kind of. You know, set the tone. You know what I'm saying? Like him as a leader, him as a person. Like you seeing how competitive he is, how his willingness to win, um, and just how he navigates through all this. You know what everybody got to say about him. He just he different, man. That's all I got to say. Wow. Now I think um, I think you what you, what people in general have to be careful of is like when you and I were growing up, we're about the same age. Mm hmm. What do we say about people with tats? Thugs. Yeah. They kind of shady. They yeah. Do. Because yeah, generationally, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Now, hey, let me see that ink you got on your back, dog. Yeah, that's some quality got, work you got done. Yeah. So, now, fingernails, dudes painting their fingernails. You know, today's age, it's not that big a deal. You know, the easiest way to say it, growing up, Smoking weed. What's wrong with you? I mean, you do it, but that's not really good for you. To, now, today, smoking weed is like, you can, you want to blunt or you want to go have a shot of crime while we out here talking about solving all the world problems? It's the, just a whole different connotation. Well, what is what does painting the fingernails it's signify? Just free. I mean, sure. It's just, you know, I art is part of fashion or whatever, you, you know. You paint it's, yours it's too? No. Nah. I don't. But not your thing. No, nah, it's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? And I respect everybody. What thing, percentage you know? everybody of the kids thing. up there at USC is painting their fingernails? I, I want to know, know that. Can count that because that's I mean, California. Yeah, that's so Cali. they got to. You know, <laughs> is it every. I mean, everybody around like where everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own style, though. You know what I'm saying? Everybody unique and they own. What way. percentage would you say you seen? I don't know. To be honest. Twenty percent. I ain't going around looking at people's nails. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but you like, oh, he got nice nails. Or how do y'all gauge it? It's not even. It ain't even engaged. It's like, 
Cause you mentioned tattoos yeah. You see tattoos You might say They look yeah. crazy But you be like That's some hard ink Even when I was, I was young yeah. You knew if it was nice Alright I'm gonna I'm do it Cause you know it's. I'm gonna say like You know your haircut or something You know what I'm saying Like You ain't really like Yo, bro, you know, nice. if that fade yeah, cold, if, if that fade cold, 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 nigga, you know what I'm saying. But oh, we gonna say that's day a cold day, fade, day to day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But day yeah, day. I get it. I get it. I get it. So when the nails get painted, you like, oh, well, that nigga did nails day. good. It's game day. Oh, that, that's what. <laughs> what <laughs> different color today. Is it a different color during game day? He might write something on there. It might be a different color or something. Okay, it's a whole thing, man, yeah. with him. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's his brand, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of it's okay. it's such a thing. Yeah, it's kind of old. It's been like yeah, it ain't yeah, new. Yeah. It ain't new. He been all. doing it. He was he doing, doing it at Oklahoma. Yeah. So he just do that's his thing. Yeah. But like I see, I probably see now. Nah, it's just me, so I'm in a different age group. But I see probably four or five dudes a week with painted nails, man. Really? My waiter at Ascension downtown had some the other day. They were black. Wow, hey! I just I used to do the double take. Now I don't even. Yeah, cause I'm old school. I ain't gonna sit here and play with you like that. <coughs> if I see your nails painted, I'm probably gonna say something. It, I don't care who it is. It could be Caleb. It could be anybody. Yeah. I don't care. I meet a lot of say? people. What I want to say, I don't know yet, but I know me. Yeah. Oh, you getting it from some, from my point yeah, of view? Yeah, like, yeah. nigga, what is going on? Like, I don't know. Yeah. And he gonna explain it to me. Right. But it ain't gonna be in no mean way. But I want to know. Yeah. I'm gonna ask a fairly aggressive voice. Oh, I cuts up. Look, yeah. Yeah. Look, you gonna I mean, get you there. See the time you, gonna, switch, you gonna get you the real the me. Switch. You gonna get the okay. real me. Ain't gonna be nothing fake about it. I respect you know? that. Though. You feel that way about pedicures? No, not really. I done What's seen a lot the of these, lot of these cats getting them pedicures. Okay. Um, you I, get them buffed or you get them uh, yeah. clean? I don't. I don't do that. Why what? not? Ain't my thing. Tripping. But then you keep yeah, your feet in some socks. Uh, no, Man. no, no. <laughs> my wife took Why me and made me like do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my wife took me, got, made me do it, but I didn't like it. I'm, yeah. I'm old country. Though. I go, I yeah, take I a bath. I'm done. Clip them and I'm through. I'm, I'm old school. I'm not like you. I know you over there getting pampered. You, you know, damn I'm not right. like that. <laughs> That's He's damn my, right. That's not my thing. You know what I'm saying? But I don't knock them. My hey. partners do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That ain't my thing. I'm just a country nigga that's different. I like a nice scrub. Too. My granddad and all that <laughs> men do that. You understand what I'm saying? My, that's I'm, granddaddy and him. So I'm you know? Y'all come okay. on, evolve. evolve. I definitely evolve. Because if not, we'll still be down in the woods oh, yeah, hauling yeah, buckwood, yeah, nigga. No we'll be hauling right. logs, nigga. What you talking? You wouldn't be on no podcast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Real talk. laughs> You don't want, your, you don't want your, your, your talent scraping your girl's legs, man. Leaving all well, scarred I think, up. Man, I think, I think you're going a little bit overboard. You know, you got some bad feet. You know what I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> your feet scabbing up like that. That's a problem. You do need to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That level. For sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. But now, I definitely like, like. oh, yeah, let me, let me, because you might have some deep, them kids at that school. They got you questioned up over here. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got for us? No, nah, that was it, man. That's it? That's it. Man, listen, man. Let me see if I can throw you off with some questions, man. Uh that what well, let's see. Marshall, y'all didn't y'all didn't win state. Mm -hmm. I ain't, when the last time Marshall won state down there? What was that? Oh four? It's been a minute. Yeah, they made it, huh? So ninety? Ninety? Yeah. Damn. Tough. That, Marshall need a movie though. They, they what? They need a movie. Why? Ninety. You got Friday Night Lights eighty eight. You got Carter High eighty nine. Marshall ninety. Wow. And they played in every movie. They was in. Odell Beckham too. Yeah, Odell yeah. Beckham Senior. Marshall need a movie. Yeah, I met him. They need a movie. Different type of guy. So they was in both of them. Really? Yeah. Who else? Is it somebody else that's from Marshall that's got, maybe maybe going? Uh, Marjorie Smith. Really? Yeah. You you feel you think he feel good? He doing pretty good to where'd he go? Oh yeah. He he'll help somebody wherever he go for sure. You did the podcast with uh Ice Cube, son. Yeah, O'Shea. What the hell was that? When was that? Um that was kinda during the season. How like, did that end up even happening? Um Timing Group, it's a collective out there. They set it up. Um it was a cool podcast. Um, Rich, it was cool to meet him here. A real guy. He went to SC too, so he alum. Um, that's really big out there. Like SC alum, real. Like mm. I can't say that. That's like one of the one of the real ones. Like 
they, somebody find out you went to SC, they went to SC, like immediate connection. You know wow. what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, it was just fun to have him on there, he, chopping it up, getting his perspective from the game. He hadn't been to a game in a while. He was just they had him run us out, stuff like that. He almost got ran over. It was funny. So, <laughs> nah, he was a cool dude. Just chopping it up with him, you know, on camera and then off camera too. Wow, his uh. I know Jason Mitchell, the one played Easy in the movie. Yeah, yeah. I just interviewed him a few weeks, well, about a week ago. Yeah. And uh, also uh, OG Two Tone. I don't know if you watched, but he, I, yeah. I interviewed him too, okay. um, come to minutes. So I'm just making my way through that whole cast, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I got to get him too. Yeah, you yeah. got to. You got to. <laughs> now you're a cool dude. Cool Definitely, dude. man. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Thank like, you. how can people get a hold of you? What's that Instagram? Oh, uh, man. All, all platforms, Taj underscore Washington, T-A-H-J underscore Washington. Yep. Wow. Uh, top three uh, football players of all time. Let me give you something to go with. Who is your top three? Top three all time? Man, how you doing me like that? I'm going to go Lawrence Taylor for defense. Okay. Look, I'm going to do it in categories. <laughs> I'm going to go... Devin Hester, specialist. I like that. Um, and Tom Brady, offense. All right. Now, what's your top wow. three chefs? Top three chefs? I'm going to go Guy Fieri. See, he didn't have no problem coming up with that. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> uh, uh, Guy Fieri. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go Guy Fieri. Gordon, of course. I ain't, he too obvious. Right. Um, and I'm going to go uh, Adam uh, Zimmerman. Zimmerman. Okay, what's Andrew that? Zimmerman. What's his specialty? Um, which one? Zimmerman. Zimmerman. I heard it the first yeah, two. yeah. I ain't heard it last one. That's yeah, he one. uh he used to do bizarre foods. Um such as. Yeah. Like that was the, his that show. That was the show. That was his show. All right. And then yeah. uh what's your what's your top three meals? Alfredo <laughs> probably at the top. <laughs> I, I yeah, Alfredo. I'm gonna go hot pot. Y'all probably don't know nothing about no, that. No, tell me about the hot pot. Oh y'all don't she's know. She's smiling at hot pot. Hot pot. What's That's her favorite. Hot pot. Um it's like a Korean dish. You know, it's big out there in LA. Um, got a you know a pot of broth. It's like on a burner, right? Um, whatever broth you like, you know miso. People do miso, make it spicy, right? You might do a beef bone, pork bone broth, or whatever. Um, and you just throw your meat in there. You get the meat. You shave like shave brisket, uh -huh. top blade, sirloin, pork belly, chicken if you like it, seafood, whatever, veggies that you like. Um, you just throw it in the throw it in a hot pot. Oh. You know? Wow. Interesting. You know? Hey, hey, listen, man. You <laughs> got one more, I'm man. Learning. I'm Alfredo learning. Alfredo is hot pot. Then what's the last? I'm learning. Uh, I'm going to go my braised beef short ribs. That's for the sleeper. If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. the sleeper. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Man, thank Shit, you for coming on the track show, party, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, come it's on down. To go down. Come on down. Uh, you know, I probably should come on, come down, on down. To be honest, you going to be down there, right, Trey? Yeah, I'll be back Saturday. Yeah. Right at home? Uh, in March. Yeah, in March. Yeah, I might. I'm going through that. I got to go to Mississippi. I don't know what time you're going to do your thing. Yeah. But if I can, come through there and get me a little plate. Come on. <laughs> come on. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank both of y'all, man. I yeah. love this, man. Yeah. I love to hear, you know, the back and forth. I wouldn't have never did good. This guy right here, man, no. he knows his stuff. Him in his class, <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> Anytime sports happening. I'm gonna bring him in. That's my my way out right there. The stuff he gonna be sitting over here in a minute. He don't even really <laughs> check it, man. Yeah. Hey, man, thank you so much, Taj. Yes, man, good luck on your endeavors, man. Appreciate I know you're you. gonna be great, and whatever whatever happens, your destiny will be fulfilled, man. God don't make no mistakes, man. Yes, check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss is talk. <laughs>